let us do the prostration. Namo Buddhaya, Namo Dhammaya, Namo Sangaya. Namo Buddhaya, Namo Dhammaya, Namo Sangaya. Namo Buddhaya, Namo Dhammaya, Namo Sangaya. Hello, welcome to Share the Light. Today's topic is learning skill. Learning skill is an essential and powerful toolkit that allow learning new things possible. Have you ever heard of speed learning? Well, we know about speed typing, speed reading, but AWA will show you speed learning. What is the obstacle preventing us from learning new things? It is our ego. Our ego doesn't want us to listen. And if we cover our ear, new information cannot come in. Therefore, learning stops. Well, we have two ears and a mouth for a reason. But sometimes we don't use them proportionally. We like to talk more than we listen. So what make us cover our ears? It's either force of habit that prevent us from learning new things. What is force of habit? For example, every time we get in our car, we always select our favorite channel. And by repeating these actions, our brain will create and form a habit. In fact, the brain learns by neuroplasticity, which is to say by habit forming. For example, if a stroke patient repeatedly exercise and force the problem arm to move, then the patient eventually be able to move the arm again. Therefore, it is very difficult to change or to break our old habits because our brain gets so used to those old habits. We are very comfortable with the old way and resist the new way. Therefore, learning stops. If we remove this egotistical obstacle, we get speed learning. There are three sets of learning skills. They are definitions of terms, communication skill set, and the mindset. Definitions is to specify the meaning of a word, a term, a phrase, or what you are going to talk about. Definitions is critical and important in communications. Why does AWE emphasize the importance of definitions? For example, to define the word Buddha. Some define Buddhas as Sakyamuni, the founder of Buddhism. Some define Buddhas with supernatural powers that people worship and pray to every day. Some define Buddhas as thousands and thousands of Buddhas throughout the universe. AWE defines Buddhas as the awakened one. Definitions will eliminate confusions, misunderstanding, or argument. Definitions clarify what we are talking about. Communicate unambiguously. These are AWE definitions of Buddhism and enlightenment. Buddhism is actually an evolving human consciousness, including religions, metaphysics, science, and philosophy. Buddhism is about the meaning of life. Enlightenment is embracing this knowledge in totality and living one's life wisely to its highest value. Enlightenment is the value of life. This concludes the learning skill part one, and thank you for watching. Transfer of Merit By this effort, 
May all sentient beings be free of suffering. May their mind be filled with the nectar of virtue. In this way, may all causes resulting in suffering be extinguished, and only the light of compassion shine to our all realms. Thank you.